that part of stuff when that's the start of the five sisters that can tail. We're just right up in the top of the wood line here. We just started driving about here on Friday morning, but let them make a T piece here. 20 meter dig into the bank there. The lorries to turn and that when they arrive here. And then from there, just about there we started here yesterday morning. There's a crack of a day. You can just see it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Just taking a tea break here just now. You can see right up on top of the hills, but And this is where we started uh, yesterday morning, just at the head of this pipe here. There's quite a fell crossing this burn. And at the other end of this 250 metre stretch, there's another big ravine to cross. This is just a slight one here, but there's three uh, 20 metre pipes in there. And I had to dig it all out. You can see the depth of the peat there. Dug it down about seven or eight feet, side casted it. But I'm just sitting on upturned roots out there. And uh, we're just doing it as we're going along because that's the only way we can get in and out. It's got to be a two meter drain at the top, meter deep. And uh, it's supposed to be five meters of a formation. That's just all rock thrown in, then I'll put that on any surface on the top of that. We've got to spread the peat as we're along, so it's a finished job. So you can see what's in front of me there, it's just big roots and peat and clay. We're climbing from about near 1 and 10, 1 and 15, all the way from the main road, right up here. Anyway, when I'm going back down, I'll take snaps of it, the photos of it all the way down. But we're just levelling off here just now, but that's this is not uh, the right way the road is going just now. This is just a spur, as they call it, it goes in for 250 metres. The right road goes swings away up the hill there. This carries right on up in there. Climbs 1 and 10, 1 and 15. And that's what lakes in front of us, just roots and peat and blue clay. We've got to go right over to where the other trees is, where the green ones are, right over the other side. There's a big gorge over there, we've got to cross that. So that'll be more problems, but ah, well, it's a challenge. Anyway. I kept going, and then Rossi came and Davidson came up one day. Hi, John. Okay, hi. Rossi says, why did you leave that pity, John? Oh, I says, I leave the easy bits to the end, I says. I leave all the, just the difficult bits I'm doing just now, and I says, I leave the easy bits to the end. So, <laughs> it's in Davidson smiling, and Rossi didn't, and left him like that, you see? <laughs> and then, he started talking again, and he came back again on it. And I says, do you know how deep that is? No, he says, well, I says, I've got a rod there. 13 feet and I can't find a bottom, I says. But what's the problem, he says. Problem, I says. He says, it won't hold me up when I dig the pit away, I says, and water will gather behind me. Oh, he says, 
No bother about the water or get the surveyor up, he says, and he'll start from nothing up there and hit it here at that in bit. I says, I can't start do that myself without a surveyor start at nothing, he says. But it's sitting on the top of the pit. <laughs> oh, you rascal, you have that on. You <laughs> rascal. Huh? Oh, put that on. This is just coming into the start of Inverinet now and along to Loch Dewey. That's the sister of Entail, folks. Young cotton up the AD. What's for tea tonight, John? Oh, the chops or something. He's not going to say nothing like he just got. Anyway, I'm standing outside the caravans at uh, 6 o'clock this morning. That's the hill get over to Glen Hill. Swinging right round, you start to pick it up the, the five sisters of the Contail. Car and a caravan and the foreman's car and caravan. It's right, right here. There's a boy that's on the moxie. It's a dump truck. Right over. And the it's just over there, just below that hill there. See a few houses just. But that's a house where that boy did the murder there. So, The five sisters of the tail. The mess is down the top too. 
because he gets a small lift. Anyway, this is I just started up at the uh, Clooney Inn, just half a mile outside of Clooney, on the Kyle side of Clooney, and uh, there's 600 metres plus a big turning place to make, so just started here on Thursday afternoon. So I've just got to take all this, the peat, strip it right down to the hard. seven metres wide. It's not too bad what I'm saying just now, there's only a, a foot of peat and roots and that, but quite hard. But down there, there was about eight feet of peat. And, that, and that's what's in front of me there. I'm just sitting on the engine cover of the digger, having my dinner at it. Kind of, it's kind of windy today, but keep away those clegs, there's a hell of a clegs here. So that's what's in front of us there. Goes up to the corner there, and then swings away to the left for another 300 metres. Anyway, it's a bonny spot here. the rocks here, there's still a patch of snow left. You can hardly see it from this side, but when you zoom right in, it's catching all the tops of the peaks here. Just walk down the formation a bit now, and you can see just what's in front of us there. Feeling that wave's hitting the front of her. Right. You know that one was his tower, Doctor, if the, if there was 
Off along there. I'm standing on top of the quarry here, and there's a wee track here along there where my car's sitting, and the road heads away in through there and right out over the top there, right out through that there and for another mile. That's where the, that's where the road goes out, right through that gap. You see that gap right out, right out through the trees there. That's where it's heading through time. It's supposed to be dead by next April. It goes from the car right out through there for another thousand meters, kilometer. Where's the refugees? Well, they're hardy. <laughs> it was at the last minute. Eh? They decided eh, that there was nothing left there. Before they came out. You get even the ducks, I think. Aye, I've got the cormorants spotting. The ducks are on the island now, look. Aye. I don't know if you But I'll get them on the way to the mother, look. There it is. Come on, you wee bastard, get it. the end of the road at the Clooney there now we're just turning and we're going to take the whole thing down as we're going down the formation. Oh well, you kind of have that fancy whistling in it. She's bad that.
Well, we're coming up to our payout for here. That's him just putting the polish on it now. That's Loch Clooney away, or the dam is Clooney away in the distance there. We'll get a better look at it as we go around this bit of corner here. You've got like tunes now going down the road here. Now we're coming on to a bit of Metley now. This is just near, very near the finish article here. Thank you. 